Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I've got for you guys another alpha tutorial video based off the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 2022 <laughs> campaign. And from what I've seen, you guys really seem to love these type of videos. So I'm gonna keep them coming. If you're new here to my channel, please make sure to hit the subscribe button, drop a like, and share either my channel or a video you really liked so that other people can join the family. Road to 200 subscribers, we are almost there, okay? You guys can do this, all right? So without any further ado, let's get into the video. First off, what I'm gonna do here is Shadow Company. What you're gonna wanna do is head to a counter in any clothing store and go to the Diamond Casino tab. Once you're there, find another tab that says Infiltration Upgraded Tech, and you're gonna wanna click on the one called the Schemer. And you guys will see why I chose this particular one with that sweater later on in the video. Make sure before you save the outfit that there's nothing in your character's face what we're about to do next. Next, you're going to want to find the Heist Coveralls tab and click any of the last four with a gas mask. After you have on the highest coveralls with the gas mask, you want to do the notorious telescope glitch, okay? Make sure your character doesn't look into the telescope, he just stands still like how mine's doing, and go equip the saved outfit, Shadow Company, and then walk away. And after you have the gas mask, I recommend coming to a gun store to save it because with the job we're gonna start up soon to get the pouches, this will be the only place on the map in the job that you can save your outfit. I've shown you guys this method before in one of my last videos, so I'll talk to you guys again after I'm done getting the pouches. Now what you guys want to do since you're back in free mode, head to a clothing store. Now we will have to do the telescope glitch again, but for now, just copy what I put on my character in the store. After you've saved the outfit, come down to the beach at Vespucci, go to the mask store, and purchase the black spec ski in the ski mask category. Now we're going to do a telescope glitch again. Also make sure that you don't save the outfit with the mask, just put on the mask, come to the telescope, do the glitch, go to the saved outfit, and then walk away again. And boom, there you guys have it. Let me know what you guys thought about this outfit down below. It was by far the most favorite outfit I made out of all of these. Now the next outfit I've got for you guys is going to be Simon Ghost Riley. So what you guys are going to want to do for this outfit is head to any counter in any clothing store again. Click the tab called Gorka Suits and purchase the charcoal Gorka Suit. Then after you got the suit, you're going to want to go to sports glasses and purchase the black wraparounds. Head over to accessories, then get yourselves the black armor gloves. Head over to hats, go back to combat helmets and get yourselves the black quadlands combat helmet. 
Ghost mainly wore a pair of jeans throughout the campaign. So for the pants, you're going to want to go to jeans and get the navy regular fit. Head over to tops, go down to utility vests and purchase the black plate carrier. Now if Rockstar didn't patch the versus mission to do the pouches to get them on certain tops, then this will look 10 times better. For now what you guys are going to want to do is save the outfit because we're going to be doing the telescope glitch once more. But before we do that, head over back to the mask store, go to the ski mask category and get the black skull tight ski. Now we will be performing the telescope glitch. <sighs> Damn time. And there you all have it for your Simon Ghost Rally outfit. Now, on to the next. Now, this next outfit I've got for you guys is going to be soap. And with the clothing that Rockstar put into GTA Online, this outfit actually came out pretty good in my opinion. Very proud of this one. So in the picture I just showed you guys, it seemed that Soap had like either a black or dark navy blue t-shirt. So head over to t-shirts and get the broker v-neck tee. Then after that, head down to utility vest and purchase the beige armor. And you can't forget the crew logo too. Head over to jeans and get the faded dark blue regular fit. Now with this, I recommend either this or the regular fit that I used before in the ghost outfit. For shoes, we're going to be heading back to boots and getting ourselves some black flight boots. Head to this accessories table and put on the black armor gloves again. Click on watches and get the carbon chronos submariner. This in my opinion is the perfect type of watch to go with a military outfit. Also, make sure you have with you a great earpiece. And if you don't have one already, you can just purchase one from a gun store. Now to put a scarf on, I had been already purchased a bunch of these scarves. So what you wanna do to get it on is put on a t-shirt, buy the scarf, and then you can put the vest on. And for this last part before we save the outfit, I'm gonna show you guys the type of haircut I got and the beard. Hey yo, what the f And that's gonna do it for soap. Now, on to the legend himself. Now to end this off, I had to save the best for last, and that's gonna be none other than Captain Price. We'll begin in Utility Tops, where we'll purchase the Khaki Detail Battle Vest. Then head over back to Utility Vest and put on the beige armor again. And in a second, you'll see why I put this one on again. Now the pants that I chose, you would sadly have to complete a Diamond Casino Heist on the Aggressor Mode. Choose the outfits with this pants in order to get it. Head back over to Accessories and pick up the Black Armor Gloves again. Now for his hat, go to Canvas Hats and purchase the one called the Moss Boonie with the sides up. And you can't forget that earpiece. For this outfit, I chose the red earpiece, but you guys can choose whichever earpiece you'd like. Now, to finish up, I'm back at the barbershop where I'll show you guys the right type of haircut and beard to put on your character in order to tie it all in.
And that's it for all the outfits. Comment down below if there's anyone that you guys liked in particular. Thank you guys so much for the love and support that you guys have shown on the latest videos. I really do enjoy putting together these outfits in game and then showing them off in a video for you guys to see. The Call of Duty series is one of my favorite franchises so I had to put this video together for y'all. In one of my last videos, I had asked you guys if there was a different type of outfit tutorial video you guys would like to see me make other than just military. So if you guys have any in mind, of course, leave your thoughts on it down below. Subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Road to 200!